So let's begin. So let's look at the objectives for this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be understanding the conventions of magazines and also attempting to analyze the deeper connotations of a magazine. Now, just to remind you, conventions are things you expect to see in a certain media text, um, and or it's things that are commonly used in a media text. In a cowboy western movie, you're going to expect to see guns and um, cowboy hats and horses and sheriffs. These are all conventions. But magazines have their own conventions as well, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Right. So, um, an easy way to remember some conventions for magazines is this concept, uh, is this acronym called MATS. Um, and we're going to go through what each of the letters stand for. And then we're also going to look at some examples. Um, let's, so MATS stands for masthead, anchorage, typography, and cell line. If you want to write that down, you can pause the video now and write them down. Um, but I'm going to go through an example of these four different ideas and some other uh, magazine conventions as well. So here is a men's magazine. And first, we're just going to identify, identify the conventions of a magazine. Let's start with masthead. So the masthead is the name of the magazine and it will often be at the top and it will often be in big, um, clear writing. Um, often it was the biggest writing. That's so that when the magazine is on a shelf, an audience can really quickly identify the name of the magazine. Um, in this case, the magazine is called GQ. Um, it's a men's magazine and that is the masthead. Okay. Let's look at some other things. So a magazine front cover will always have a main image. This is a men's magazine. So they decided to put a man on the front to engage that target audience. Um, and uh, the main image here is of an actor called Leonardo DiCaprio. A convention is often direct address where they are looking directly at the audience. Um, and that's so that when this is on a shelf in a shop, um, that will catch your eye because the model is looking directly at you. Okay, let's look at a few other things. Now you've got anchorage. So anchorage is any text on a front cover that refers to the image. Well, this actor is called Leonardo DiCaprio. He is a Hollywood actor. And here you have some anchorage. Now it's text relating to Leonardo DiCaprio. So it says Leo rising, DiCaprio on money, success and power. Now, this will change how you view the image, okay? This is suggesting or creating connotations that um, Leonardo DiCaprio has money, that he's successful, and that he's got lots of power. Without this writing, you might not have thought that about him, but this anchorage here changes that meaning. Okay, let's move forwards. Um, a convention of a magazine front cover will also be that they have a color scheme. It's often three or four um, colors that the front cover uses. This is simple. You've got green, uh, you've got white in the background, you've got gray, and also purple here as well. So that's the, the color scheme that they've gone for. Okay, you've got one other thing, and that is cell lines. So cell lines are all of these bits of text on the front cover that give you a clue about articles inside the magazine. They are selling what's inside the magazine. So for example, we reveal the jobs of the future. Well, that's telling you that in this magazine, there's an article about jobs or what they'll be like in the future. Here as well, you've got style upgrade, your 2012 wardrobe strategy. Again, this cell line is telling you that in the magazine, There'll be a guide or information about how to um, dress better or a guide about fashion. Okay, and then finally you've got puffs. Now this front cover doesn't have a puff, but a puff is often a box. It could be square, it could be circular, it could be any shape. And it's just a box or a shape that um, has a cell line within it. 
And um, actually, you've got one on the front cover that I'm going to ask you to do. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do is task one. So um, this is a magazine that you are going to look at. And first, all I want you to do is identify six conventions of magazines. So from this cover, can you find the masthead? Can you maybe find some anchorage? Now, to give you a clue about that, this woman on the magazine, her name is Katy Perry. So can you find any anchorage that relates to her? Um, let's look for some cell lines. Can you identify some cell lines? There is a puff on here. Could you identify that as well? Um, and I also want you to at least identify the color scheme. Okay, so pause the video now and just pick out what you think are the masthead, anchorage, cell line, puff, and color scheme of this front cover. Pause it now and just do that for a few minutes. Okay, so um, this is just to check that you've understood. You should have paused it there. Now I'm just going to talk through it. Okay, this front cover is called Cosmopolitan. Sorry, the masthead of this is Cosmopolitan. That is the name of the magazine behind her. Um, and that's in bold and in pink. Okay, Anchorage. Remember, this woman's name is Katy Perry. Well, Anchorage, that's here. Katy Perry confesses, I was banned from reading Cosmo. Um, this will change how we view Katy Perry here. Um, and you might think, what is this saying about Katy Perry, this Anchorage? What does it say about her relationship to the magazine? Okay, Cell Line. Well, all of these are cell lines. Hello, happiness. Goodbye, heartbreak. Drop a dress size by tonight. Your perfect party dress. All of these are cell lines that are telling you about articles in the magazine. Okay, puff. So remember, a puff is a box or a, a, a shape that has a cell line within it. Well, here is the puff, um, the gold um, sort of spherical and it's got the cell line Cosmos, ultimate woman of the year. They'll rock you. They'll rock your world. So that is a puff. Okay, color scheme as well. You've got four main colors here. Um, pink, black, gold, and white. Okay, and actually they're the only front colors that they use. And you might start thinking, well, why have they used those colors? What's the connotation of pink, gold, um, black, and white as well? Okay, let's move forward. So now we're going to look at what the connotations of a front cover are. 